morning. It's, my name's John Foster Smith. It's two o'clock in the morning and I can't get a wink of sleep because my partner, Ros Adams, is taking up all of the bed. No, I'm not. You are. We think that at some point in their relationship, every couple will have this problem. But we've got a product that's going to solve this dispute. It's a ley line sheet. The ley line is the line that runs down the middle of the fitted sheet and it's not uncomfortable to sleep on, but you can feel it in the dark with your fingers. We're looking for £50,000 for 20% of the business. We're looking to develop licensing agreements with the major department stores and we're also looking to trial our own short run of production. Now, there's just one more question. Um, which of you would like to get into bed with us? Now, have you got any questions for us? Business partners Ros Adams and John Foster Smith's playful pitch for £50,000 has left the Dragons rather bemused and apparently unamused. Peter Jones is first to interrogate the couple. Hello. Hi. I'm Peter. Which one of you came up with the idea to put a dividing line between a sheet and a bed? Th this is my idea. Um, I'm frightened to ask, but I'm going to ask it. What do you do for a living? I'm a designer. Um, I've run a small graphic design company for nine years. Um, the idea, I would say, came to me uh, at three in the morning when my my dear wife was taking up all of the bed. So the idea came to you when your wife crept across that halfway house. She does that. Most men would get excited by that, but <laughs> you didn't. I do, but um, you know that thing where you each get your hands and you're sitting in bed and you're going, you're taking up this much and you're taking up the, and, and uh, uh, well, this is the, the answer to the question. Well, my problem is my wife doesn't cross the line enough. <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh, you invent something that makes her cross it more? I hope that this you know, wouldn't stop any... Can I just say, just because uh, my opening shot is I look at it and I think you're, you look pretty sane to me, but I think the product's ridiculous. But I don't want to say it's ridiculous without trying it, so do you mind if I go up there with Theo Pafitis and try it? By all means, <laughs> by all means. Should we, uh Avert our eyes. We're really going to get so the Peter idea. Jones and Theo Pafitis have decided to test out the ley line. No, no. Are spoons this way or what? <laughs> <laughs> but it's clear that investment opportunities are not at the forefront of their minds. Do we have to take our clothes off? Well, to... If you like, um, but the line's not getting in, in your way. There's a mischievous mood in the den. You feel that? Can you feel it? What's it doing for you? <laughs> But multimillionaire James Kahn wants to get back to business. I think uh, we've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John, have you sold any of these? No. Okay, so it's just an idea. Yes. Yeah. And just to make it really clear for me, the basic idea is it's a sheet with a line down the middle. Yes. It could stretch to a duvet cover as well. The patent covers any bed clothes, really. Are you try to say that you've got a patent, an international race to stop anybody else putting a line down the middle of the bed? But yes. Yes, you have? I've, I've got a, a British patent. How much have you spent on that? Um, I think it's £135 for a year, for the first year. So, <laughs> you found a patent lawyer who'll get you a patent for that for £135? Well, it's not a completed patent, it's a patent that's been applied for and we need to do the search. Okay, uh, could I just tell you how far apart it is between a patent application for £135 yes. and a patent? Deborah Meaden is quick to expose John and Ros's business naivety but a perplexed Theo Pafitis still doesn't understand the ley line. Is this an alternative to contraception? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? What we found is that um, there was some research done in 2006 in the States and they found that um, of the 50 couples they interviewed, it was one of the things that most of the couples did have was this territorial issue. So what we're trying to do is give the public a product that allows them an opportunity to resolve it without a row. Well, Ros, they don't come much bigger than Mrs P, right? And you know, nothing gives me greater pleasure than either she or I cuddle up to her. Mm. Uh, and so why would I want to avoid that? I think you're a lucky man. I think most uh, Most relationships couples... don't have that. Is Not that according saying? to the studies that we've read. Guys, 
I just really believe you need to draw the line here. Oh. <laughs> and give up on it. I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you. The Dragons can't take this business seriously. And James Kahn just isn't buying it. Have you shown it to anybody that's placed an order? We've shown it to friends. Yes. Um, Always a great place to start. Yes. And yeah. they said it was amazing, I'm yeah. sure. They love it. OK, c can I just tell you where I am, John? Mm. Um, what I would say to you is go and target all the obvious customers that you think would buy something like this. And I think if you get sufficient orders, that's a great way of saying, is this going to work or not? But I think to be coming to an investor to ask for money when you haven't really tested the product in a commercial environment doesn't show me a lot of entrepreneurial savvy. And I think for those reasons, I'm out. John Ross, I disagree with what James was said, but I wouldn't even bother wasting the time of talking to a retailer about this product. This is never going to be a business. So for that reason, I'm out. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. James Kahn and Peter Jones are the latest dragons to decline the opportunity of investing £50,000 into a novelty bedsheet. Deborah Meaden is dumbfounded. What amazes me is you're standing here and presenting this as a serious product. You're going to sell those at what? 17. Uh, we, we think that if um, a sheet was on the shelf um, and the same sheet was next to it but it had the ley line, down the sheet, um, we think that would persuade no, somebody. No, but my point sheet. is, it will never be on a shelf with a sheet. Uh, It'll end up as a joke on a website. Because I can tell you, as a joke product, you might have a bit of a market there, but this is not a commercial <laughs> opportunity. So I'm afraid I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. So, the other four dragons are out. You can oh, move in now. Clear the way you? for you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they've missed the opportunity, haven't they? It's We're a great really? opportunity, isn't it? We've uh, got a strong creative partnership. We've got other things on the, uh, on the boil. I've got a great portfolio. Uh, um, and, uh, uh, and, uh, see, I was looking for things. you to say, yes, Duncan, they're all wrong. But I didn't get that enthusiasm because I don't think you really believe in this. I think that lots of people would buy this. I'd buy this. No, you know, I don't think you really do believe in it. Somewhere in the back of your brain, it really knows, the back end of your brain knows this is a silly idea and you should bring that forward and you should really... I accept that because it is a silly, silly idea. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Two of the dragons may have accepted Ros and John's offer to get into bed with them, but in the end, none wanted to stump up the cash. The entrepreneurs are leaving the den empty-handed. <laughs>